focus horror series of videos called Clue, which stands for Children Looking Undercover for Energy, where we are exploring and doing fun activities with all different types of energy and energy sources. And in today's video, we are focusing on electric energy. So let's get started. Have you ever walked across a rug on a dry day and received a shock when you touched a doorknob? Or have you ever observed lightning on a dark and stormy night? Or how about when you rubbed a balloon on a person's hair and the balloon stuck to a wall or ceiling? All these phenomenons are caused by electricity. Another thing that's really cool that's caused by electricity are magnets. Magnets are charged pieces of iron steel that attract or repel one another and also attract other materials made of metals. Magnetism is a force that is created because of a magnetic field that is caused by moving electrically charged particles that cause magnets to either attract or repel each other. And today we are gonna be using the magic of magnets to create our very own magnet masterpieces. So let's get started with today's activity. All right, so let's start with what you're gonna need for today's project. Today's project, you are going to need a variety of different metal objects. You can either use old washers, nuts, bolts. For mine, I'm gonna be using some old um, nails and screws. If you are using sharp objects, make sure you're careful with them. You're also going to need some embroidery floss and some temper paints. Um, in a variety of colors, I'm using four for my projects. Make sure you have as many colors um, as you have metal objects. So each metal object is going to get its own color. Um, you're going to need some plastic cups to pour your paint into. You're also going to need a nice piece of paper um, to paint on. I'm using watercolor paper. You can also use cardstock paper or whatever you have at home. Um, you're going to need some tape and some scissors. And for this project, you are also going to need a nice size cardboard box. And you're going to want to cut the opening of your cardboard box open um, so that you have a nice space to work on the top, but you can still um, move around and put things in the opening of your cardboard box as well. All right, for your next step of your project, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your embroidery floss and you're gonna cut some pieces of string um, that are about yay long. You want a decent sized string. You don't want it too long, but you also don't want it too short too. Um, and you're just gonna tie the ends of that string um, to the end of your metal object. So you either tie it around your washers, around your screws, um, whatever type of metal objects you're, you're, you're using, um, just go ahead and tie your embroidery floss um, to those metal objects. And then take your cups and go ahead and set your metal objects inside those cups, leaving the string um, hanging outside of the cup. So you don't wanna get the string covered in paint um, but you're just gonna leave it outside of the cup and that's exactly what we're gonna do after you have them all in your cups. Go ahead and take um, whatever color paints you're wanting to use and just pour a little bit into each of those cups um, so that your metal object is gonna be covered in the paint but you can still take the end of your floss and pull that metal object out. So once you have that all set up, go ahead and set your paints aside for now and grab your piece of paper that you're painting with your box and some tape. And what you're gonna do next is you're going to tape your paper um, to the side of the box that you are wanting to work on. So you want your setup to basically be, down here is where you're going to take your magnet um, and you're gonna control um, how the paint is being moved around on your paper um, using your magnet down here while your paper is being painted up here. So go ahead and just tape down your um, piece of paper to that box. So when you're done, your paper should be taped down and looking something like this. Alrighty, so once you have your paper all taped down and all your paints are ready to go, what you're going to do next is you're going to take your metal object and make sure it has a good amount of paint on it. And you're going to pull it up using your string and you're going to just set it onto your piece of paper where you want it to start. So I got my blue on there. I got my yellow. And then we're gonna do some red and some green. So all your metal objects are now sitting on the top of your box. And then from there, you are going to take your nice strong magnet and go in from the bottom of your box. And you should start to feel, um, it will like catch on to one of your metal objects. So like here's one of my nails right here. And wherever it's not, you'll notice that it won't stick. Um, but go ahead and see if you can grab onto one of those metal objects and start rolling your paint around 
um, and see if you can make a picture out of it. Or you can just make some fun abstract art, of course, too. Um, so go ahead and just play around with your magnets um, and see if you can make a creation out of it, make a magnet masterpiece. Um, you can even challenge yourself, see if you can maybe write your name out of the paint or if you can draw a picture or something like that. This is also a great activity um, if you ever want to do it outside. Um, it's a good um, outside, it's a nice area that you could get messy with this project, of course, too, um, or use nature around you as kind of inspiration for your picture as well. So go ahead, um, have fun and get creative with it. All right, here is my final beautiful magnet masterpiece that I made. Um, when you're done with your project, be sure to show it off, show your friends and family, and when they ask how you made it, say that you used the power of magnets and electronic energy. Um, I hope you had fun with today's activity and now know more about electronic energy and magnetism and also have a fun and easy activity that you can do at home. Be sure to check out all of our other videos and activities that have to do with the other types of energy sources or for some more fun Steve activities as well. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!